Working here in, at the Galapagos Science Center is wonderful. It's a, a, an environment where I feel I am challenging myself and that I am growing as a student and as a, as a scientist and as a person. I'm doing a bunch of research that eventually will, will help my own country, so that's very rewarding. And then in general, I can only say that I feel like one of the luckiest uh, marine biologists of all because I am able to work in this, in this paradise and in something that I, I like a lot. My name is Isabel Silva Romero. I am originally from Salinas, which is a beach town in the coast of Ecuador. And right now I am a graduate student at the University of North Carolina um, in Chapel Hill at John Bruno's lab. So we use this apparatus, this device called KISSME, and specifically we are using it to measure respiration and photosynthesis. We are trying to unravel how primary productivity shifts uh, in these subtitled rocky reefs. Primary production and specifically primary producers are the base of the food web. So all the ecosystem is sustained by primary productivity specifically in, in these uh, reefs here in the Galapagos and all over the world. So basically by knowing how uh, this might shift in the years ahead, we can speculate or have predictions of how the community structure and the community dynamics are going to also change. My lab is the best lab in, in the world. Uh, in my opinion um, and I have worked with John and Maggie for a few years now and I can only say that they are the most wonderful mentors that uh, advisors that I could uh, ask for. The focus of our lab of Bruno lab is marine ecology and conservation and we are very very clear and interested in pursuing that conservation aspect of all the research that we do. So our aim uh, is to you know, produce high quality scientific data that can be used by uh, important institutions to help come up with uh, important strategies and conservation policies for the archipelago. The world is changing, so in the context of climate change and ocean warming, um, communities are also going to change, so we're going to have new losers and new winners, and having healthy oceans is is crucial for uh, human survival here in, in the planet. 